Aloha, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. It's time again to show you some of the brand new features inside of Ecamm Live 4.0. That's right. We dropped the brand new version, and in that version, we've added some functionality that can help you with your live stream and video productions. This one I'm going to show you is about the brand new built-in speed test. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, Doc, I already use speedtest.net or some other Ookla generated speed test. Well, those aren't really giving you an accurate assessment of what's going to happen for you, say, in a live stream or a video video conferencing situation. The reason why is we're more concerned about the speeds up and down and you, a lot of times those will show you some caching and other things that don't really give you the true picture. What we've added will give you a true picture so you can better understand what's going on. It's also going to show you how many destinations you can easily send to using the brand new multi-streaming feature, which you can learn more about up here by clicking the little thing up there. All right, so let's dive in. If I come over here and you see here in my preferences under the stream tab, you'll see where it says that I have about 20.7 megabits per seconds to spare. So I can press the test again button, give it a chance to do a little twirly twirly, talk to the internet, send some stuff up, send some stuff back, send a message to my mom, see how it's all going. And then we're going to get another result as you know, sometimes you just restarted your router. Maybe you restarted your Wi-Fi. Don't stream on Wi-Fi. Always be hardwired. You know the deal. Yes. But it's going to give me an opportunity to get a more accurate assessment. So it says right now I have about 22.7 megabits per second to spare. So if I were to add another destination, it's going to give me the uh -uh. No, you can't do that. Why is that, Doc? Why can't I do two destinations? Well, if you look up here at the top, it says I'm streaming in 4K. So if I drop this baby down to, say, 1440, I got a little bit of to spare. I could add another destination. If I tried to add a fourth, it's not going to be enough. But if I drop it down to 1080, it's going to give me another assessment. Now, let me see if I back this down to three and then come back up to four. Even at 1080, I can't handle four, but if I dropped it down to 720, I still got a lot of room to spare. That's only asking me to use 14.6 megabits per second. I believe I can crush out about six. At 720, I can send to six separate destinations. Now let's go back down to one and let's stick it at 1080. Check this out as well. You see, I'm asking for about six megabits per second down here, but if I flip it over to say uh, 60 frames per second, that's going to go up a little bit more. Asking for a higher frame rate will also require a little bit more internet. If you're trying to do 1080 60, you're looking at 8.2 megabits per second for me. Yours is going to be different. And a lot of it has to do with the way your internet provider and the network congestion in your area is not going to be the same for everybody, which is why we sort of built it in. I'm going to show you a couple more places where this can be very effective for you. So here I am ready to start a brand new stream. If I were to come down here and press the new button, I want to pick my first destination. So let's say we're going to send this bad boy out to YouTube. That's good to go. It tells me I need 9.6 megabits per second to send this stream to YouTube. Let me come again and press add. And let's say I want to send one to the Ecamm Live community. Still good to go. It's say I have 19.2 green check mark is there. Well, since we're doing that, let's also send it to the beta community. Up. Oh, not going to work. As you can see here, I would require 28.8 megabits per second. But we've also added a button here called stream settings, which would allow me to go in and change my resolution. If I dip that down to 1080, it seems like I still don't have enough room to spare. So let me dip it down to 720. And now I have room for action, live action. With that point, I could come in and add Amazon Live. Now I have enough room to spare. I'm asking for 19.9 megabits per second, and now I can start my stream. If you want to learn more about multi-stream, and once again, I'll put the video up here. There'll also be a link in the description, but the brand new speed test can help you get a better assessment of your network before you start your stream, so you'll know exactly what to do and what resolution to set and how many destinations you can go to. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to hit us up at supportdesk at ecamm.com. Or of course you can leave it right down there in the bottom. Like you can leave all of those comments right down there in the bottom. 4.0 has so many brand new updates and we have so much more to show you. I'm gonna pop a couple of videos up on the screen right here. I hope you enjoy it.